In this video, we're going to have a look at installing a fairly simple kitchen in our house. Now, what we've got here is our 3D sectional view, and I'm looking down at the kitchen area. I'm then going to jump to my ground floor plan, and I'll be toggling back and forth between those so I can see what it is I've done and how it looks. What I need to do here is go to the component and load family. Now, what you need to do is find the kitchen units and they're in the file that's called casework. And you'll see you've got base cabinets, countertops, shelving, tall and wall cabinets. So I'm gonna look at some base cabinets first. Now, again, you can just see what they look like as you go down through. So we've got the corner unit by there, um, which I'll be using, and load that one in. I'm also going to have a look at some matching base units. I might load in that one. Um, and I think So I'll load in those couple. There we go. OK, first of all, I want to use the corner one. Now you can see here it gives you the sizes. So 900 by 600, 860 high. Now all the ones I've selected are of the same style, 860 high. So that's just something to watch out for. Now we will look in a moment at how you can edit the sizes of these a bit as well. But for the corner one, I'm just going to put that in. I'm going to zoom in. Now, as we move towards the corner, OK, I'm actually just going to change the scale on this just so it shows the lines more clearly, makes it a bit easier. And then I can just drop in that corner unit when it's now lined up with the sides. OK, so we'll toggle back over to our 3D section and we can see that corner unit is dropped in by there. So I'm thinking I want, say, a unit by here for a sink. I also want some units across there. I'm going to be putting a cooker in over there as well. OK. So let's go back to the ground floor. I think I'll want a double unit, so component, load family, let's find one that's double width. Try one of those. Okay, so again, we've got the 600, 600. So this time, let's have a little look. There is a one meter one by here, so I'm going to use that. Now you'll notice there again, I've just lined it up with the wall, and I've also lined it up with the edge of the other unit. And we can see that's the correct way around. I'll leave a space for a washing machine on the end. And now I want some straight units across here. Just put some singles in. Using the space bar to rotate it around and then lock it into place. Then I'll swap to one of those glass ones. Okay. 
now I want space for a cooker. What I will do here is let's put another corner unit in on this side. So that space bar is a very handy way of rotating it around. Okay, let's just do a quick dimension by there. So we got 700. Okay. What I think might be nice by here then is just something small to fill in. So let's get ourselves a cooker. Now cookers do of course come in various sizes. So I want one of the um, so I could there. That's what I want is a wine rack. Okay, and let's have a look how big the wine rack is. Three hundred. Okay. Oops. Accidentally drop that in place. I'll delete that in a moment. Set that in there. Now that's probably not left myself enough space. It's only 400 mil. So what I'm going to do is click on this unit and I'm going to edit type, duplicate, rename it, and I'm going to make it 300. Oh, those actually, there's already one there for 300. So in that case, I will duplicate it and I'll make this one 350. And I will change the width from 500 to 350. OK. And now we can see we've shrunk it down and then I'll just move it to there, get this one to move to it as well. Just grab and drag across. That's left plenty of space for a cooker by there now. So we could install a cooker. Gain load family. This time we need to come out of the casework and we need to go to the speciality equipment and there's a domestic file now we can see there's quite a variety of different items here so a double oven and a counter that looks about what we want at the moment but we can see we've got dishwashers and all sorts of things in there as well Now that's a 593. Again, we might want to just edit the size of this a little bit because it's not quite fitting. So I'm going to edit, type, duplicate, and instead of have 593, I'm just going to have a 550 wide cooker. So a slightly smaller one. They do come in various sizes. There we go. Let's have a little look at that. Now we can see that is looking quite nice. Okay. We are missing a plinth under that cooker, but that's something we can sort out at a later point. Okay, let's go back here and we'll just install a couple more components.
uh, washing machine. Now we can see the dishwasher slightly mispositioned, so we'll go back. It needs to just be slightly this way. It looks like it's just disappearing into the wall very slightly. There it is. So we can see the back edge of it again. Okay. So there is a run of units. Uh, I might put another small unit just in the corner there. Well, actually, change of plan. I'm going to move the dishwasher. So I'll just grab it, drag it, space bar to rotate it around. Drag it over here, line it up. The dishwasher can go by there. And we will have a extra unit by here. Just create a little bit of an island. Okay. okay, so we can see we've now got a nice range of base units for our kitchen with some other equipment as well.